Hi everyone, my name is Animado for the light and magic .multiply.com. and today I'm going to teach you about cursors. Uh, a cursor is this uh, arrow here. Uh, it is actually a small picture that represents where the mouse is, is located on your screen. Also, it is uh, represents where the mouse is pointing at. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is uh, I'm going to teach you how to create your own uh, cursors using COR and ANI formats. Uh, in which uh, also I'm going to teach you how to upload uh, how, how to upload those files into your uh, into your multiply site and uh, by using CSS uh, to assign different part of your multiply site to different different uh, cursors. Right? Again, uh, I'm only going to teach you how to do the to do them using uh, COR and ANI formats because there are other formats that can be used as cursors. Uh, for example, uh, um, GIF. Uh, GIF, JPG, and PNG format. But the problem with this uh, format is that uh, you know, uh, I, whenever I use GIF, JPEG, and PNG, sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't work, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, it worked in some browsers while others didn't work, and people would be uh, would be confused about it. So, for the purpose of this, for the, the purpose of simplicity of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about COR and ANI formats only. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to download the software that can handle uh, this uh, COR and ENI format. You just you need to go to yahoo.com or Google and make a search for uh, 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 Greenfish Icon Editor. Now, uh, now uh, this uh, Greenfish Icon Editor you can download from this uh, page uh, greenfish.extra.hu slash forward downloads dot php. Uh, this is this is a great a great tool. Uh, it is a freeware. You don't have to pay any amount of money. You don't have to subscribe to anything. It is totally free. All right. You just need you need to go to that site and download the program. Just uh, okay. Blah blah blah. Uh, there it is. Uh, Greenfish Icon Editor Pro. Just click on download. Okay. This program only works uh, in Windows system. Uh, um, uh, but uh, but if you're using an Apple computer or a Mac or a, a Mac OS uh, system, I'm afraid I cannot really help you because I'm not familiar with this, this kind of uh, system. I only know my Windows XP. Right? I just click on it, click on download and save the file into the. Okay, I want uh, just put it in the desktop and click save. Right? It, it is such a small uh, f uh, file. It shouldn't take shouldn't take long. Uh, okay. Well, it's already done, and now you need to go to the desktop and locate the zip file. It is a zip file, so you need to unzip it. You just double click here. Uh, I'm using WinRAR, okay? So you just uh, click on the folder and extract uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the file into the desktop. I like to put everything in the desktop because, you know, uh, to make it th things easier for you to find uh, whatever you extract. Click OK. And there it is, the folder right in front of you. Okay, give me a second here. Alright, now open the folder. Alright, and the beauty of it, you don't need to install the program. You just, uh, it just, you just need to uh, locate this file called uh, GF GFIE. Uh, that stands for Greenfish Icon Editor. You just double click on it um, and open it, uh, and you don't have to install it. It is directly, it will directly run on your desktop. Okay. Um, all right. So the first, the first order of the business is I need you to click this icon uh, to uh, to create new graphic to to create a new a new working area. Just click on it. Now the size is well. I, I prefer 48. Should be sh should be more than enough. But uh, okay, 64 is a bit larger. Um, I think I think this is a good size. 64 by 64, and then click OK. Now this is the working area. Uh, in the middle, you should be uh, you should you should be able to see this working area. Uh, Right, it's, and on the left side, uh, this this window is a toolbar window in which you have the selection, the transform, the the magic wand, and let the laser tool. Now, um, if you're familiar with Photoshop, Paint Shop, even GIMP, uh, these tools should be, should come very easy for you. But uh, if you're not familiar with those programs, just take your time to play with it. Just take just take one tool at uh, one tool at a time and just explore with what that tool can do. All right. On the right side, you have this uh, color selection area in which you can assign different colors and so on. Okay, I have this idea um, um, of uh, making this cursor in my mind. I'm going to use a selection tool and use the, back for, uh, the gradient tool in which to create different effect here. And uh, to remove the selection, you just click on Control D or just go to Edit and uh, deselect all. Okay, just to remove the selection area. Now. Uh, 
Uh, I'm afraid that you, if you're not familiar with uh, this kind of tools, uh, it just takes you time and to explore it. Okay, on the right lower uh, window, you have this layer uh, layer window in which you can create new layers and uh, delete layers, modify layers, and so on. Uh, now, this is the beauty of this program because uh, other pro other freeways doesn't give you uh, this freedom of uh, making layers. Now, layers is just working areas in which you can uh, you can uh, make adjustment to one layer without involving other layers all right so i'm using a, this pen the pen tool and creating this letter h using the photo uh, the bucket the paint bucket to uh, make it you know to fill up to fill up uh, the space and using the selection and the transform tool i'm going to resize uh, this uh, letter h uh, it looks like more like a Scottish dog or something. Oh, no. Never mind. Okay, you can uh, minimize it, maximize it, and make it a si different uh, shape and sizes. All right, um, and this is um, using the transform tool. Um, next, I'm going to create an arrow uh, on the right upper, sorry, on the left upper corner here. Uh, okay, if, you, if it is too small, you can bring the other window here. It is called the tool behavior, in which you can uh, adjust the thickness of uh, the brush. So let's make it nine. Okay, let's make an arrow. Okay, all right. It's not really per it's not perfect yet, but uh, I think I have a problem here. Uh, oh no! I think I make it the uh, arrow a different color. Just give me a sec here. Uh, change it to green. Okay, and click. Okay, right. So um, okay, let's assume that I have okay, I have what I wanted. This is uh, this is this is the, uh, this is the cursor that I want. Now the next step is I need to uh, ha uh, to assign the hotspot. Now there's a tool here. It is, uh, it is kind of, kind of important. This is called the hotspot tool. Now the hotspot tool is just to assign where is the tip of the of the arrow is located. All right, if uh, uh, if is exactly the most important part of the of the cursor. So if you set, so if you click on it, it is automatically on the right upper corner. Uh, sorry, on the left upper corner. But if you let's say if you put if you want to put the uh, tip on the right side, you just you just uh, drag the X to uh, to whatever the to what, whatever the arrow is pointing at. So in this case, my arrow is on the left upper corner. So just put it there. Right. Click on File, Save as. Now we're going to save uh, the project. Again, I want to put it in the desktop, and I want to uh, change the file type. Now you need to change the file type to COR format. That is a cursor file, and put the let's put a name uh, cursor C U R S O R. All right, and save. It give you some messages, but the most important thing you should be able to see a file on your desktop. I'm going to minimize. Oops, sorry. Uh, okay, minimize. All right. So there's a file right in front of you. And this is a COR format, which is uh, supported by many browsers and uh, win as well as uh, your Windows system. Now the next step is I need to create an a animated the cursor. You just uh, b animation is done by creating pages, and each page, you know, it's like animation. You need to create frames, and uh, but here we need to create the pages. You just click on new page. Now I have page one and page two. Now uh, let's make some changes in page two. Let's uh, make the arrow is a bit different. Let's put something like a uh, bit purple. Oh, man. Uh, purple maybe nope red uh, no yellow maybe all right so uh, so in page one it will be green uh, page two it will be yellow and so on now uh, uh, in animation it's uh, also you need to assign timing you just click on the right button on the fr first page and click on page properties in which you can assign uh, the duration of each page uh, for example here the, this page it will last for how many milliseconds now a millisecond uh, Let's see. Okay, if uh, if you assign 1,000 millisecond, it's actually meant one second. If you assign uh, 500 millisecond, it is actually half a second, right? So for the second frame, let's put half a second, 500 uh, millisecond. That is half a second, right? And click OK. Everything is done. Just click on File, Save As. Uh, just change the name a bit. Animated cursor and the file format of a file uh, uh, file type into animated cursor A and I. All right, click on here and click save. Done. All right, uh, this is the end of the part one of the tutorial. Now I have two files here. I'm going to continue in part two. See you there.